Hey everyone, for this video we're going to be taking a look at a Figma today, and we are looking at Tosca Ren 2.0 Figma from the series Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. And what you're looking at is the bottom of the box where she, you can see she is number 257, and there of course is the series logo off to the right, and she is sculpted by Shinji Koshinuma from Max Factor. And the whole um, design of the box is relatively the same as most Figmas. Um, the colors do coordinate with the Figma itself, especially her school uniform. So you see lots of reds, a um, little bit of brown and black in there. And inside the box is just plain red, and the rest of the box is just red as well. And we have Max Factory as well as some warnings at the top. And on the side of the box, we once again have some information about the figure and a picture of one of the poses you can put Rin in with that little embarrassed face which is absolutely adorable. And the other side is pretty similar to the first except we are treated with a different picture of the Figma in more of a happier version. The bottom of the box features Rin in a more action-oriented type pose and the top is pretty identical to the bottom. And finally the back of the box towards the bottom we have the usual information and warnings included on Japanese figure boxes as well as that big ol' sticker since she was um, she did come from a U.S. company, in my case, uh, Crunchyroll, so we have that sticker kind of covering up some stuff. And finally, we are treated with some more pictures of the Rin Figma in action of all the different stances and expressions you can have her in. So without further ado, let's take a look at what she comes with. So first things first, she comes with a standard set of instructions, which is Japanese on one side and... English on the other, which definitely helps out, and then here are all the parts that she comes with and how to swap out the parts. And of course she comes with the standard little Figma sandwich bag of sorts to hold all your parts together if you so need. And of course she comes with the standard Figma base, which looks pretty similar to all the other Figma bases that I've seen, so nothing too special here. It does come with a little extending piece, I guess, to help out with some of the more action-oriented type poses you want to put her in. And also what's really helpful is she comes with an extra joint piece, which it's always nice to have just in case something should happen. So now taking a look at the actual accessories that this figure comes with, um, starting off is one of the main ones right here, and that is her magic spell attack. And as you can see, it is red. It is... Um, very barely translucent, a um, little bit of translucency to it, but as you can see the sculpt is a little bit rough, that the circle isn't perfect and it cuts out and it's a little bit uneven and odd in places, but I think it really kind of adds that little touch of realism to the magic being performed. She also comes with an optional arm piece, so to speak, with her sleeve sort of rolled up and she's showing off her magic circuitry, but it is a fairly nice detailed piece, you really see all the different ways that the lines are painted and the directions that they're going. And on the left, Ring comes with an optional hair bang piece that has her red um, rimmed glasses attached to them. So you can have her glasses in any of her faces, and I think that's a really nice option that they have done it that way. On the right, she comes with an optional pair of shoes, and they're sort of her um, inside school loafers. I'm not sure what they would be called, but they are simple and nicely detailed. And in behind that is something that you stick in the shoes, I suppose, when they're not in use to kind of help keep the shape. And finally here is the set of hands that this Figma comes with. She has quite a few options, as you can see, with fingers splayed out, um, kind of her hands closed as though she can grip something, and one set with just a pointed index finger, and another set with her fingers together, palm out. And as you can see, her set of right hands come with the magic command seal painted on them. And last but not least, here are the optional face plates that she comes with. First here we have a sort of yelling um, expression used probably during one of the attack poses, and it is nicely detailed and painted, she does look quite fierce. And the next one is a slightly endearing, slightly embarrassed, a um, little bit exasperated type of expression that I think is really adorable. And finally here is the Rune Figma herself, so before we get into the details of this figure, we'll take a quick look at the articulation. As for her feet, they have a little bit of movement. I will say the joints on here are actually quite stiff. Um, her knees can move as well. 
and I think she has some movement, especially um, with the hips and stuff, and luckily her skirt is made out of a softer, more pliable sort of material so that it can accommodate whatever movement you put her in. Um, she can turn from side to side and bend a little. Of course, her wrist can move as well as her elbows and her shoulders. And she can go pretty far. Actually, the shoulders move so much easier than the bottom part of her ankles and her knees, I will say. And um, she can turn her head from side to side and not quite look down, but she can look a little bit up. And her hair has some articulation as well, so the little kind of twin tails portion have their own joint and can move freely. And then she has the bottom of her hair can move up and down as well. And finally, we're just going to take a look at the aesthetics of this figure. I will say right off the bat that the Figma joints really aren't as obtrusive as they kind of seem to be in the past with this figure. They look kind of nice with her, and it's not as noticeable. Although, of course, you're still going to notice it is a Figma of that sort of thing that bothers you. But Rin is in her school uniform, as you can see. So she is wearing her um, brown school loafers and a pair of black tights that have a little bit of sheen to them. And the details of her skirt look quite nice as well, with the um, pleats sculpted in, and like I said, there is a little bit of movement with the material as well as the sort of slits that they have on the sides to, to give her a little bit more movement, and yeah, it's got nice shape and shading to it. And her blouse and vest are nicely detailed as well. Once again, I love the sculpt in it and the little bits of folds that they have um, sculpted into it as well, and the little... Um, paint detail with the lines on the um, edge of the sleeves, especially her ribbons, are, or the ribbon at the front is relatively um, clean painted for such a small detail and it looks really nice. And a little bit that you can see of her outfit from the back and of course the hole to place her into the stand. And finally here is a better look at Rin's face and this is the default um, face plate that she comes in which is just a simple smiling expression. And it is very cutely done. Her eyes are nicely detailed and really do look just like they're from the anime. And her hair was wonderfully sculpted as well. They definitely gave it that bit of character that she has in the anime, I think. And just, once again, I love that her um, little bit of twin tails up here have a joint in them so you can really move them along. And each piece is just wonderfully and lovingly sculpted, as well as her little hair ribbons. So now we'll take a look at some of the poses that you can display your Rin Figma in as well as have a final quick spin around of the figure. So, uh, final thoughts. Um, she definitely is a pretty fun little Figma, and granted she doesn't come with too many accessories, but the things that she comes with do make for some pretty fun poses. Um, I will say that I am a little bit disappointed actually in the blushing face that she has in hindsight since um, looking at the uh, promo photos on the box and looking at the face itself. The blush markings seem a little bit darker in the artwork on the box, and they don't really show up as much in person. It still is a cute uh, faceplate nonetheless, and it's a very minor thing to complain over, but just something I was a little bit eh about. Um, also, I will say that swapping out Rin's shoes for her um, other school loafers was a really um, pain-in-the-butt process, I have to say. Um, just the way you had to go about it just made me feel like I was going to break something, and it was just really uncomfortable. And pulling the shoes on and off actually like seemed to 
scrape away some of the the material on the joint a little bit, and that actually kind of makes me a little bit nervous. I won't be swapping out her shoes so much. I'll probably just leave her in her regular um, brown loafers that she has there. But um, overall, this is a pretty fun Figma, and I really do like the look of these um, 2.0 Figmas. They seem to move a little bit better, and the joints look a little bit better as well. And I do recommend picking her up if you are a Rin fan or you're just a Fate Stay Night fan, and I will definitely be looking into getting some of the other Fate figures or Figmas in the future to hopefully get her some, some friends to hang out with. So that is it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.